Now, reflection is basically the signal bouncing off a flat, smooth surface. And, um, and it has to be a surface that is larger than the uh, actual wave. And, uh, and that just means it will change the, uh, the actual direction of the wave. So let me uh, make a little bit bigger uh, office building here as an example. And, we'll, uh, and this will lead into another issue called multipath. So if I have my antenna in one part of this room and I've got my laptop over here that wants to uh, connect to this wireless network, as that signal is radiating, uh, and again, notice it's radiating in many directions as it uh, moves out, uh, it is possible that that signal might bounce off this wall and get to my laptop, while at the same time, I'm going to have a direct signal, and maybe I have another one bouncing off of here. And so I'm going to technically uh, see that signal three, in this little picture three different times. The same signal, the same information. Uh, the reason, though, that I'm going to see it at three different times is that, uh, obviously, these travel at speed of light, the distance that it took for the first reflection to get to me was less or more than the direct distance that it connects to me. Uh, even though we might measure it in uh, nanoseconds or even, uh, you know, potentially even uh, milliseconds or, you know, it just depends, again, on, on uh, how much time or how much reflection we have. Um, I'm still seeing that same signal multiple times. Eventually, that's going to move us into this idea of multipath. Now, one of the things you might notice is that um, there's a, what we call a sky wave reflection. And for frequencies that are less than a gigahertz, like an AM radio, you might have noticed uh, at certain times of the day that you can hear that radio station that is, uh, you know, hundreds or even thousands of miles away on a clear night. Um, and so what we're thinking here is, you know, if I'm talking about planet Earth, and planet Earth has an atmosphere around it, when I'm transmitting that signal, it'll bounce off that atmosphere and come to a different location. As an example, where I live in the uh, Pacific Northwest area, I can hear uh, channels at night from uh, neighboring states where I know, uh, like in one case when I was in Seattle, I was able to pick up an AM radio station in a city that was 600 miles away. And that was the uh, idea of that um, signal bouncing off of that atmosphere, the sky wave. Um, microwave reflection is something we'll see uh, between the gigahertz and the 300 gigahertz. Um, and, uh, and so when we see this again, remember that the reflection, what we said is that uh, when it hits an object that is bigger than the wave, then we would uh, see this reflection. And uh, at this particular uh, case, right, the signal is going to be well, faster uh, as we measure them from 1 to 300 gigahertz. And that means that this signal could bounce off of smaller objects, like even just a metal door.